Hey y'all, Danny Moon here. Call me what you want as long as it's respectful. This video is going out to my Libras because I did a Libra video maybe a week ago and I said I was coming back with a bonus. So this is not a bonus. This is just a whole new reading because um, it's been so long. I wanted to do a bonus because I wanted to come back with like a great reading y'all. But I just did like a meditation on y'all and I, I, I just have to be honest, it was filled of conflict. It was filled with like some type of toxic relationship. Um, it was filled with like inner turmoil, uh, either about yourself or about the relationship you're in or about a relationship. Like it could be with a family member a friend, I don't know, a co-worker, anybody. Um, and I'm stretching there. When I say I felt conflict, it felt like it was coming from a relationship. And then I tried to pull, like, I was asking spirit for, like, information from for the single Libras. And I was getting, like, um, I, I don't want to say the word desperation. I really don't want to say that. But I was getting, like, Libras that want love in their life. They're looking for love. They want love. Even if you're not looking, you want love in your life. The best thing out of this pre-spread that I did and from the meditation was that you're covered. You are definitely covered. Like you are so protected. And there is a past loved one that starts with the, the letter S like Celia or Sonia or Sean, um, something with an S a name, somebody with an S name who passed over, who's definitely like watching over you. Um, I got father, I got like a father, fatherly energy. Now it could be it can be either a father that passed over or it could be um, a bad childhood with a father um, or even a bad adulthood with a father. I'm not sure, but a father definitely impacted my meditation. Now, is this for all Libras? No, some of you have great relationships with your dads. Some of you are in great relationships. Some of you are some of you are single and happy. So if this reading's not for you, it, just throw it away and just wait for the next one. Um, but I do ask if you can listen to the end so that I, when I channel, it could just spirit could just speak through me, and there might be a message in here for you. I did get some cards. I got the devil. I got the hierophant. I got like. Um, any of the wand cards, like Page of Wands, King of Wands, Queen of Wands, Six of Wands. Um, and I got the Six look, six of Wands is right here. And this is just a pre-spread. This is not like, I wanted to pry into y'all's energy to see what was happening with y'all. Um, and I keep saying, y'all, I'm a Libra too, but I'll try to keep my energy out of it. Um, let's give a little prayer. Thank you, God, for um, watching over this reading. Thank you so much for using me as a vessel. Thank you for opening up all my senses, all my chakras, so I could get accurate messages for the Libras. Um, Archangel Michael, please come in to protect this reading, to protect the Libras. Uh, please collaborate with me, with my guides and their guides. And let's get some accurate messages and some accurate advice to lead them on the right path. In Jesus' name, amen. So more to be, so more to be, so more to be. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, y'all. This is, again, just the pre-spread. I'm going to put these cards away. I just wanted to give you a little... Um, uh, I just wanted to give you a little touch of what I was feeling. So we got love your journey. Even if you're in a terrible space right now, you have to know that better is coming for you. And the reason I said that is because you have the star card. Um, and the star card is um, your deceased loved ones, um, your angels, your guides. They're all watching over you. Libras, let me tell you something. Throughout all of this father energy, this conflict, the deceased loved one, toxic relationship, 
the strongest energy I got was that you are protected. The second strongest energy I got was you are very magical. Like you have, y'all have a lot of gifts. You know what I mean? Like you can channel, you can speak the spirit, a lot of dreamers, like big dreams and um, prophecy, like you can see the future, you know? Um, and you might not see it that way. You might see it like, I have a dream and before you know it, boom, it'll happen in a couple of weeks or a couple of days it'll happen. Or I'm thinking about somebody and they'll call like, but you have the gift of sight, okay? Um, and you have many, many other gifts. I'm not just saying this because I'm a Libra, but we out of the Zodiac, and this is just my opinion, all the tarotists that are watching, this is just my opinion, Libras, we have like the biggest hearts, you know, and all of this, these gifts and connection to spirit and connection to the universe is about love, you know what I mean, um, the heart chakra, because when I meditate or when I'm channeling or whatever i drop into my heart space your heart space is the biggest chakra that you can use in order to um peek peek onto the other side or be a medium or use your gifts your heart chakra is the one of the biggest chakras that spirit uses because you need to be in a happy loving vibrating state and we as libras really have a big heart okay i know a lot of you are probably or some of you are going to disagree with that because some of you know like mean libras or me libras that are liars or libras that it is but i'm telling you we have really big big hearts so that opens us up to our gifts if you are willing to receive them, okay? And the reason why I said that is because I didn't get, hmm, <clears throat> I was about to say like I didn't get depression, but technically I did get like some depression out there. But it was, it was back here. Um, <clears throat> it was like mental health issues or depression, um, insecurities and I got it all very slightly and the reason I got that slightly is because there's so much shit in the front like the conflict or the working or the money or your money finances same thing careers your kids there's so much going on in y'all's lives that the important stuff was just slightly in the back I hope all of that made sense so what was that first card? That card was love your journey. Spirit wants you to love where you at right now. Because in two months, two years, two weeks, you will not be in this spot. Take my word for it. You will not be in this spot. You know what I mean? But another energy that I did get in the meditation was that you're not moving. I did get pro procrastination. I don't want to say laziness, but I got like, I felt like the depression was holding you down. The depression was keeping you stagnant. The depression was keeping you stuck. And maybe even if you don't know it, um, something is keeping you stagnant, stuck, or in procrastination mode. Not for every Libra, but if you resonate with this, then that means this is for you. Um, born to stand out. When this came out, when spirit brung that out, I, I believe that. Um, another energy that I got in the meditation is talent. We, uh, we as Libras are very talented. Most of us Libras are not using our talents. That's not for all Libras. But a lot of us Libras out there are not using like our vocal cords to sing or our vocal cords to or our ch throat chakra to rap or, um, or to write poetry, um, to dance, to cook, to put things together with our hands, to be a planner, an event planner. Um, I just got a lot of talent, music, a lot of music too, a lot of music. Um, avoid toxic people, okay? So I knew that that card was for you because in the meditation, I got a lot of conflict. I even got some abuse, whether it's verbal abuse or physical abuse, I got some abuse. And I got also that 
this was in your past too, maybe with your mother and father or your grandmother and your grandfather, or you saw it around your life or something like that. I got a lot of abuse in your life, you know, not for every Libra again. I'm sorry that I keep saying that, but I have to reiterate that if this is for you, it's for you. If it's not, it's okay. Um, meditate. Spirit wants you to sit still. I mean, I say that in every reading. Spirit wants you to sit down. They want you to close your eyes. They want you to sit still. They want you to get rid of all of this toxic energy. But the only re the way the only way to do that is to remove yourself. You have to take the action. You have to do the movement. Okay. And the first step is to sit down. Literally, I just came home from work. I talked to my Puda. Told him I loved him. Got right here. Meditated on y'all. Sat down. I let everything go. Um, and it cleared me, it cleared my energy. So sometimes they just want you to sit down, close your eyes, pray, raise your vibrations, meaning thinking of a happy thought or not thinking at all, just letting everything go and feeling a little free. That is your first step. Okay. The next card was have faith. You you have to lean on your faith. And I'm not talking about it. I believe in God or I read the Bible. I'm not talking about that. Your faith has to be strong. It has to be a knowing. Your faith has to turn into a knowing, okay? You have to know today is a good day. Today is not going to be a toxic day. I'm going to make decisions. I am going to let go of this. I am going to walk out or they're going to walk out. I am going to pack those bags and I am going to be happy about it. I'm going to get more money. Like you have to say it as if you know it. Um, and sometimes I tell people, fake it till you make it. Now the universe will know if you're faking it. But I tell people to do that anyway because you have to, to uh, reprogram your brain. Okay, and in order to do that, you just got to keep telling yourself this stuff. I am beautiful. I am beautiful. I am beautiful. I am rich. I am great. I am abundant. You know what I mean? And you have to say it like from your gut. Okay, and then you always got to pray. Always got to pray. All right. Um, past life connections. Some of you need to get a past life reading. If you need one, hit me up at moondanny1976 at gmail.com. I don't do that, but I know someone who does them very, very well. Okay. Um, or I also got the energy with this card that you might be with someone who you felt like you knew them forever or you knew them in another life or something or the connection is so tight or like y'all keep coming back to each other. And the reason I said that is because you got the six of cups over here, but I'm going to get to this pal. Um, so there's some type of, um, I don't want to there's some type of either nostalgia going on, like you thinking about the past, or your past is in your life, or you never got out of the past, or, or there's an ex, um, or somebody keeps going back to an ex. Something is toxic. Someone is toxic in your life, in your circle, in your energy. Okay, now this pal was... Um, the Queen of Swords, which is the Libra card, okay? Th this right here is, is is talking about, like, cutting through the bullshit. You know, you've been stepped on, you've been walked on, you've been cheated on, you've been this on, everything on you, you know what I'm saying? And Spirit is saying, this is what you're turning into. This is what you will give yourself to, like, June, and you'll be, like, cutting through the bullshit, cutting through the red tape, cutting through all the craziness that's been going through your life. And when you do that... You build your self-esteem up, you build your character up, you build yourself up, and you feel stronger. So this is, you're leading up to this. You are leading up to this, okay? Queen of Swords, very strong, um, very strong personality, very strong person. Don't take the bullshit laying down no more. But it took them a long time, whether it's a he or she, took them a long time. It took a lot of bullshit. It took a lot of, I'm, I'm sorry I got a potty mouth and I know I say bullshit a lot, but it's okay. But it took a lot of craziness and chaos for them to go through for them to get to, to the king, to the um, queen of swords, okay? Um, the bottom of the deck is ace of pentacles, so more money is coming your way or a new home is coming your way. 
Um, also in the meditation, I got a lot of wanting. I want my life to be different. I want love in my life. I want a new career. I want new money. I want my finances to change. When you tell the universe that you want this or you're hoping for it or please can I get it, boom, it does not come to you. You have to know you're going to get a new house. You have to know you're going to get a new apartment. You have to know you're going to get a new job. You have to know your finances is great, even if you only have a dollar in your account. You understand what I'm saying? You see where this is going? You have to build up that knowing, that gut, that intuition, that heart chakra. You have to build that up to where you know that you are a good, a great enough person that you have it already. And before you know it, you will have it. Okay? Um, then we got the chariot in reverse this is how i know you're stuck the chariot in reverse is about momentum going fast making decisions and things start rolling in your courts things start moving you know what i mean you fill out an application two days later they're calling you back you have an argument then you have a conversation then you let them go him or her you let it go you know what i'm saying this job is no good you leave it and you move that's what the chariot is about fast momentum when it comes in reverse it's stuck you're stuck you're stuck now, I don't know where you're stuck at because there's a thousand Libras watching this. So, wherever that wherever that placement is for you, Spirit is saying, get that card upright. Now, I'm just happy that it came on the board because Spirit is saying you have time to make improvements. You have time to make changes. You have time to make these hard decisions. You know what I mean? So... All you got to do is do it. You got If you take one step, spirit takes two steps. You take three steps, spirit takes nine steps. That's how it works. But when you take those steps, you got to do it in confidence, okay? The next thing I got was the six of cups. Now, the six of cups could be the universe blessing you. You, like I said, this is not for every Libra. So maybe the Libras who are happy, you are, your money's coming in, the love is coming in, whatever's coming in, you know what I'm saying? And the universe is just blessing you because you did the work, okay? And kudos, my hat is off to you. Kudos to you if you are doing the work and if you are taking the action. Keep doing it and raise your vibrations. Um... But the Six of Cups is also about nostalgia. It's also about the past coming back. It's also about you not just looking back at the past. It's about you staying in the past. So be careful about that. Now, another thing with this is, is something up with your kids. Something, it could be a health thing with your kid. It could be um, school. Which I'm getting children off this card. So something is up with your kid. Okay? And it's nothing. Don't get, I don't feel nothing crazy. But I feel a struggle for some of you with your child. Whether it's in school or whether they're on the right path. Whether it's... I don't know. It could be anything. My daughter's 13, so it could it could be anything. And the advice there, this is just from me to you, spend more time with your kid. You know what I mean? Do the And I know it's easier said than done. We all work. We all got jobs. We all have responsibilities because we got to keep these roofs over these kids' heads. We got to feed these kids. I get it. But what Spirit is trying to say is prioritize, and your kids should be on the top of the list. First should be you on top of the list because you won't be you won't be no good to your kid if you don't get it together. You understand what I'm saying? So you should be on top of that list and then your kid should be on top of the list. OK, just throwing that out there. The next card we got was the star card, and this is how I know you're going to be okay, because the star card is an Aquarius card. There could be a Taurus, too. I'm feeling Taurus energy, or Leo, Leo, Pisces. It's all coming now um, to me, um, but this is a healing energy card. Spirit is watching you. God is watching you. Source is watching you. Your higher power, whatever it is, is watching you. The universe is watching you. You are covered. You are very, very protected. Lots of grandmother, I'm feeling lots of grandmother, like, looking over you, you know, walking beside you. You don't even know it. You know what I'm saying? Um, I feel like I got, like, uh, like a watch was very significant in the meditation. Um, I got, like, um, 
like you made some like something with red sauce. It could be spaghetti or chicken parmesan or lasagna. I got something something meaty and red. Um, the next card we got was the five of wands and the, I mean, yeah, the five of wands and the six of wands. So this is conflict, but the, out of the conflict will come victory. Now, will that be tomorrow? That's all on you. That's all on you to get that chariot card upright and to make a decision so that things can start moving in your life. Okay. Um, the Six of Wands is about victory. It's about going through so much turmoil, going through so much fighting and argument, going through so much chaos and conflict that you came out the winner, okay? No matter when this is going to be. This could have been yesterday, you know what I mean? But it could be a year from now. It'll The, the momentum will move when you decide to move, okay? Now, Five of Wands is about conflict. In the mind, conflict with someone, or competition in the workplace. I didn't get no competition in the workplace in any of that energy. But if that's for you, then you resonate with that. You know what I mean? If that is for you. Um, again, I'm not getting really conflict in the workplace. But, I mean, competition in the workplace. But there could be conflict in the work workplace. I'm getting Tiffany or Tanya. I am getting now either stomach issues or you have to detox. You got to change your diet in some type of way. Drink more water. And I'm getting meal prepping. Whether it, and, and like whether you're doing it or not, I'm getting meal prepping. So if you are doing it, that's great. And Spirit is saying continue to do that. They're giving me the word resources, so reach out to your local resources. What It could be a local church, whatever it is. Use your resources, whether that's family, whether that's your spiritual tribe, whether that's your higher power, your higher self. You have the resources to um, do whatever. And they're giving me about resources and now school, something about school or going back to school or a certificate or something like that. The answer is yes. That's what they're giving me. The answer is yes. Spirit, talk to me about the Libras, please. They're showing me the three of swords. Um, this is the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups, she drops into her heart space. The Queen of Cups is very connected to her intuition. She knows when when you're doing something. She knows when something is up. She just knows. You know, the Queen of Cups, she has a really big heart. You know what I mean? She's about love. She's about compassion. Um, and because of that big heart and that love and compassion your gifts are growing, okay? And so your intuition, like you, you're spot on. You uh, you know what's going on, but it's like you are afraid. I'm getting like fear. I'm getting a Carlos. Spirit, talk to me for the Libras, please. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. The seven of wands in reverse is not standing your ground, not saying you're no good for me, not getting rid of what's not serving you. This is not moving. This is letting people walk all over you. Mm -mm. And they're giving me off of this seven of wands like, not getting to the top. I don't know what that means. Not getting to the top. I don't know. I'm getting a lot of journaling or writing or poetry. Something with a pen and a paper. 
okay? And all of that is awesome. Don't change it. Continue to do it. Even if you're not in the spotlight, continue to do it. Libra energy, please. Now, I didn't mention... I didn't mention anything about, like... Um, I like my heater. You see my heater right here? It looks like a third eye. I love it. Um, I didn't mention anything about legal action or court cases or jail because I'm, I'm getting a whiff of it, but I'm not getting, like, all of it. So I don't know what it's about. But I, they're showing me the justice card, and they're showing it to me upright. So that means everything is going to go in your favor. Or everything's going to go in the person person's favor, whoever's in jail. Oh, two, two of pentacles in reverse. I think I like this. The two of pentacles upright is about juggling a lot of things. Going to work, cooking the food, going to meetings, doing the project, doing this, doing that, doing a thousand things. Um, and you, and when the two of pentacles is not a bad card, cause it's saying you juggling, you walk in a tight rope and you, you juggling and you doing a great job by doing it. But spirit is saying you can't get no meditation in like that. You don't, you can't get no self care in like that. You can't love on yourself like that. You can't even draw a bubble bath like that. You know what I mean? So spirit is saying when it comes in reverse, you drop the pentacle and you say enough is enough. I like that. I like that. Bottom of the deck, nine of swords, worry, fear, heartache, worry, worry, conflict of the mind. No, 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 no good. I did get like a cruise. I got Aruba, like somebody either went to on a cruise to Aruba or wants to go back to Aruba, um, Jamaica, you know, a cruise, a cruise. I'm getting the I'm getting a name that starts with an L. Um, Linnell. I know it's not Lionel. Whose name is Lionel? But <laughs> um, but Lionel, Linnell, Lynette. I'm getting twins, like you might know twins. You might be a twin, I doubt it, but I'm, I'm getting something about a twins. Did I not just say five minutes ago, I'm seeing the three of swords? I'm just saying, I'm going to put it back in the deck because I feel like it just flipped out. But I'm just, I don't make this stuff up, y'all, I'm telling you. I don't, and I because I'm a Libra, you know I didn't want to come here with a crazy reading, you know what I mean? But I got to give you what spirit is giving me. Um, I'm going to put this back in the deck, but I got the page of swords. The page of swords is a student learning, and so all of this that you're going through could be just learning lessons, but you got to get through it. You can't stay in it, that's for sure. That's that's definitely for sure. I'm definitely getting a strong, I don't know the name, but it starts with a D. It could be anything, but it starts with a D. D as in dog, Damon, Darlene, um, Desmond, Dennis, Denise. Libra energy, please. February. Libra energy. Fear. Look, the moon card. Now, the moon card is about your magic. The moon card is about, and when I say magic, I'm talking about your energy. The moon card is about using your magic, using your energy to um, prevail, to get through this path. You know what I mean? But the moon card is mostly about fear. It's about lies. It's about ill intentions. It's about um, hidden truth, which is lies. <laughs> you know what I mean? But they're saying if you use your energy and use your magic, which is the same thing, you can get through all of that. You know what I mean? Life be life in y'all. 
So even though you're going to get through it, and you are going to get through it, Libras, we are, let me tell you something, people don't see that how strong we are because we're so nice, because we're so diplomatic, people think that they can fuck with us, you know what I'm saying? And they do a little bit, you know what I mean? But we get to a point where we be like, nah, it ain't, it ain't happening no more, you know what I mean? I'm telling you. So... You just need to get yourself there. And don't get me wrong. I don't think you should be disrespectful. I don't think you should be um, outright rude. I don't think you should be any of those things. But I think you sh it's going to come to a point where enough is enough. Okay? <clears throat> I'm getting like a pet. A dog. Some of you, it could be a cat, but I am getting a pet. I'm getting, I don't know if the name Birdie, I'm getting Birdie. Could be short for Bernice. Spirit, talk to me for the Libras. Can I get four more for the Libras for February? They are giving me the... Um, the Ace of Swords. Now, they didn't give me that card, but they gave me the word breakthrough. And the Ace of Swords is about a breakthrough. So, we have the world card here. The world card here. And the world card is about coming into a new threshold. As soon as I touched it, I felt like somebody's about to move. You know what I mean? So, either you thinking about moving or you're going to move or you did move. Like, it's, it's, a, it's starting a brand new. But you don't see nobody with her, right? her or him you don't see nobody with them right you coming into this new on your own okay so i am feeling nine of pentacles on this like a very independent thank you spirit thank you thank you again y'all i really don't make this up i really channel i'm really like gifted so please believe me when I tell you all of these things that I'm telling you. Spirit knows what you're going through, okay? I told you, like, I didn't see the Ace of Swords, but they gave me the word breakthrough. And the breakthrough um, card is the Ace of Swords, okay? And it's funny, I'm lining these cards up, and the Ace of Swords is right under the Seven of Wands in reverse. With Seven of Wands is like people stepping on you, they doing shit to you, you you in either a toxic relationship, and I'm getting a lot of toxicity at work too. So the, um, the Ace of Swords is about there's going to be a breakthrough for that. Spirit, the universe is watching you. They're all watching you. They're not going to let nothing happen to you too much, you know what I mean? But they do want you to help them. You have to help spirit. You got they have ears. They want you to speak up. They want you to speak up. Tell them what you want and what you need. Okay? Queen of Pentacles. Structure. Status. Um, good with money. More money coming in. I love it. Temperance. Be patient with yourself. This is also another healing card. You are in a very healing state right now. Even if things is crazy and chaotic in your life. Spirit is planning on healing you. You are going to plan on healing yourself. You have to acknowledge that, though. And you have to know that you're going through that. And sometimes healing is not like oh, da, da, walking apart. When you heal, you got to detox. You got to push all of that negative shit in you out. Okay? And all that negative people, negative energy, out. Oh, they gave me habits. Some of you have some habits. And I was just about to say some real bad habits, but it's like it's almost like I felt spirit say, don't say that. Nothing is bad to them. You know what I mean? But they, they just want you to know when you're doing things in excess, too much of, too much smoking, too much eating, too much no meditation, too much not thinking of yourself, too much too much gossiping too much of anything like that then it then it's no, no bueno no bueno no good <laughs> tate i'm getting a neat a name that starts with a t but i feel like this is a a, a a masculine masculine terry february please so there will be 
there, there will be new movements. Sorry, y'all. When I say new movement, that means you got the world card. That either you're moving or moving jobs, departments, something, something um, where you're coming into a new. You know what I'm saying? Something new in February is coming towards you or you're going towards it. Um, and see, I don't make this up. The star card. You had this and went in the pre-spread. You are being watched over. So you don't have to worry so much. Libras, we're air signs. So we're always in our heads. You know, and spirit is saying, like, you got to chill with that. You got to chill with that or things will not change for you. Okay? Things will not change. Spirit, talk to me. Libras, February, please. Ten of Wands, you got to put the bullshit down. But I like this card because it's at a ten. It's like enough is enough. Like you, like I know I keep saying the same words, but spirit keeps giving me these words. The Ten of Wands is about a lot of burdens, a lot of shit on your back, helping other people, doing other people, people doing you wrong, and you thinking about it and you mulling over it. But you at the ten, you're putting it down. You're saying, no, I'm not doing it. No, no, thank you. No, thank you. Can I get two more for February? One, two, three. Can I get three more for February for the Libras, please? They're giving me the word action. You have to take the action. Eight of Swords, yep. Oh, man. Oh, man, y'all. That one flew behind my desk. Uh, and it was the Eight of Pentacles. Sorry, y'all. Give me a second. Gosh. Oh, no. I'm sorry. It's the Strength card. Um, spiritual strength. Any type of strength. You know, just you got to be stronger. You got to you gotta look out for yourself now. For real. Okay, the Eight of Swords is about being trapped in your head. We are air signs. We trap our own selves in our heads because we feel like we get very overwhelmed. Okay, so Spirit is saying take the blinders off and see how she could. The, the swords are behind her, you know, and on the side of her. Like she could literally, she or he literally can wiggle out of this wiggle out of these ropes take the blindfold off and walk right out of this bullshit air that we in okay you see my favorite word is bullshit y'all i'm sorry and strength you have to have the strength enough to do that you have to have the strength enough to hold on to your faith and know that you're gonna um turn out victorious you know, remember, you did have the Six of Wands, so things are going to work out in your favor. But it could be a year from now or 10 years from now. It's all up to you. Can I get one more, please, for February for the Libras? February for the Libras, please. Ten of Cups in Reverse. I mean, you Ten of Cups upright is about happiness. It's about me and my person and my dog and my cat and my kids. Or it's about you by yourself being happy with the house, with the home, with the finance. Be just, it's a happy card. When it's in reverse, it's like non-happy. But we did see the Nine of Swords at the bottom of the deck, remember? So it, you can turn turn that around. It's, it's about... And I'll say it again. It's about reprogramming your brain. How do you do that? You got to you gotta do the research. You got to understand we have a subconscious mind back here and we got a conscious mind up here. And you got to want to sit in your conscious brain. You got to want to sit in your godly brain. You got to want to sit in your heart space. You got to want to um, love up on yourself. You know what I'm saying? Instead of loving up on other people. Instead of wanting love or wanting love to come in your life, they want spirit wants you to love yourself more. Bottom of the deck magician, you can do it. 
You can do it all. You have all the tools. Some some of the zodiacs that I do, they don't get this card because they don't use all their tools. The cups, the swords, um, the pentacles, you know what I'm saying? Um, the wands. Some of you don't use your talents. Some of you um, go to this nine to five and think that's it. That's not it. That's not it. Take a leap of faith. Take some action somewhere and do it blindly. Just say, you know what? I'm going to go record this song. I'm just giving you a bad example. I'm going to go record this song, and I'm going to put it on YouTube. I'm going to make a YouTube channel, and I'm going to put my song on YouTube. And I don't care who like it. You know what I mean? You got to do these things, these things, use these talents, these gifts you got, or just it, to make yourself happy. You have to do things just out of, the, out of the goodness of your heart. You know what I mean? For you first. Okay, <clears throat> 40 minutes on the clock. Wow, that was quick. Dad, can I get two more, please, for the Libras for February? Again, in the beginning, I said I saw the devil card, right? Boom, there you go. That's some, that is some type of toxic... This is a toxic person, I feel like, y'all. I'm telling you. I feel like either you're being toxic to yourself or to your body, meaning like you do in excess, you're doing too much of smoking or too much um, negative energy within your body, or this is a person, negative energy around you. What are you going to do? Because if you came to this reading for me, to, for me or spirit to say, you're going to do this, this, and that, this is the wrong reading for you. Because if you know tarot, if you know the spiritual world, if you know a higher power, that higher power gave us free will, baby. So you're going to do what you want to do. But spirit is telling you, your February is going to be kind of bumpy. You know what I mean? You will have a breakthrough. You will be going through some a, a new threshold. Um, your gifts are growing. Um, your intuition is spot on. So not everything is negative, but spirit is saying you stuck somewhere in a negative space. And it's only you can get yourself out of it. Look what's at the bottom of the deck. Do I make this up? Again, nine of swords. I mentioned this twice. We saw it once at the bottom, then I mentioned it once, and now it's here again. Come on now, spirit. Come on now. Come on now. <clears throat> They get, they're showing me the temperance card now, but I showed you that already. The temperance card is a, is a healing energy card. The temperance card is about creating. It's about why you in this deep down spot or why you're in this space of stagnation or why you're in this space of conflict or whatever space you in. Spirit is saying, take this time to create. Write some poetry. Write a rhyme. Write some music. You know what I'm saying? Um, go in your kitchen and cook. Make your own recipe. Whatever your whatever your thing is, y'all. I'm pulling all of these examples out of my ass, but I think you know what spirit is trying to say. Spirit is saying take action. Okay, take action where your passion lies. That the, I'm not telling you to quit your job. I'm not telling you to do nothing like that. I'm telling you... You, at some point, you got to put the burdens down. You got to put the arguing and the conflict down. And you got to sit down and do what makes you happy. And some of you just need to really get out of a relationship. Some of you. And some of you need to create a relationship with yourself. One more, please. Libras for February. For February, please. One more. Again, six of wands. You're gonna be alright, because that's my last card from this deck. And it was it was my last card from the pre-spread. You're gonna be okay, but you have to meditate. You gotta get some rest too. A lot of you are um either uh I was gonna say nocturnal, like y'all are animals. Uh <laughs> y'all have insomnia. Some of y'all have insomnia and y'all don't sleep. Um, but spirit is saying you got to get some rest. You, and spirit doesn't want you see how this person is laying down and they're, they're either praying or they're thinking that spirit don't want you to think spirit just wants you to lay down, please lay down, lay your ass down.
and meditate. A lot of you are going on dates because a lot of you are looking for love. And some of you could be just doing it out of fun. You know, I'm getting, um, real quick, I just got divorced, like a divorce. You might have been divorced or you, you, you're getting a divorce. Some type of divorce is happening and some of you are dating. Okay, the page, of, the page of Cups is my charmer card. The Page of Cups is like um, somebody who wants to take you out or who's been taking you out. Or something's up with this charmer. If you have a charmer in your life, use your intuition because your intuition is spot on. Something is wrong. And I'm getting that off this one card. Okay? So if you feeling like, mm, I think he, him or she, she or him is lying about something. I think they got kids or I think they married or I think this or I think that you, you, you dead on, you spot on. Okay. Six of cups again, toxic. It could be the universe blessing you. It could be, but I'm just saying, um, some of you four pentacles is about saving your money. You should have. You should have at least two savings accounts. A saving account that you can't touch that 10% of your money goes into, $5 goes into, I don't care what you put in it, you know what I mean? But you should have an account that you can't touch. Then you should have a regular savings account. And then you should have another savings account, like a rainy day savings account, okay? And then you should have money under your mattress. I know I'm old, y'all, so you should always have some cash on you, okay? But th you should be saving your money, okay? I'm, I'm looking at this card, the energy. I'm somebody's clinging on to a job or clinging on to work, clinging on to something, clinging on to money. Money is energy. Money is fluid, y'all. Don't cling on to nothing. Don't cling on to nothing that's not going to serve you, okay? It might be paying a bill, but... Yeah. Um, five, it might, and, and look, don't get me wrong. Paying a bill is serving you. But if you got to go to work and deal with aggravation every day, that's not serving you. So you got to make a hefty decision there. What you want to do? You know what I mean? What you want to do? Some, you, something with HR, you might want to go to HR about something. They're giving me like HR. Somebody's waiting, I think, on an email or a phone call. Some, you're waiting on something. Six of Pentacles, being blessed by the universe. I told you. All right, this is my um, practical self-care oracle deck. Spirit, talk to me for the Libras, please. Oh, wait, before I do this, let me get some advice. Can I get three cards for the Libras? Can you give them advice for February, please? Advice for February? Okay, they're showing me now in my third. Oh, look at that. Eight of Swords, leave leave <laughs> okay now of course there's definitions to this card and the definition is you're going to be moving to calmer waters come mid-february end of february or whatever you're going to say i'm not dealing with this bullshit no more i'm not dealing with the argument no more i'm not dealing with these people no more i'm not dealing with this job no more and you're going to be moving to calmer waters but in order to do that that means you made a decision okay there we go um Advice. I feel like I was about to tell y'all something. Advice. Advice for February for the Libras, please. What should they do? Advice, please. Advice for the Libras, please. Get out of lack, okay? Five of Pentacles is about lack, finances, funds. I don't have, please give me, I don't have, I don't have. If you keep telling the universe you don't have, the universe is a boomerang. It's going to give you, you don't have. And you won't have. Okay, the Five of Pentacles is about focusing on your weakness, what you can't do. And you should be saying what you can do. 
okay? The Seven of Pentacles is observation. It's about moving your money around, making that extra bank account. It's about looking at your life saying, you've been in my life too motherfucking long and doing this to me. You've been doing me dirty too long. It's about observation and moving the pieces because sometimes you need to strategize and that's what you need to do, Libra. You need to strategize for the rest of February, okay? You need to say, this is what I'm going to do come March, Okay, so let me get my ducks in a row. So, y'all, so I know a lot of people are waiting on taxes, but they just gave me, like, waiting on money. So, you could be waiting on taxes, a tax return, or just money in general. Somebody could owe you money. Spirit, um, advice. The Queen of Swords in reverse. I don't know what to tell you about that because that means you're not going to cut the bullshit out of your life. So, so now, remember, this is advice. So, Spirit is trying to say, some of you, and you might not admit to it, some of you could be too harsh. Some of you can cut through, through a person's soul with your words. Okay, and Spirit is telling you, dial that back for the rest of February. And this is only for some of you. So if you resonate with it and you know you've been going off on people, you've been holding grudges, you've been making like sharp, sharp comments or rush, rush decisions, spirit is saying, hold some of that back. Pull back, okay? But if not, for the rest of you, you need to get this card upright. Spirit is trying to say you need to cut through the bullshit just like I told you earlier. Okay, things are about to change for you. The death card is about leaving the old and coming into something new. But again, I'm sorry to keep saying the same thing. In order to leave the old, you have to make that decision. You have to say, I'm not doing this no more. One more, please, advice. And they're giving me talk to yourself. You have to talk to yourself positive, positively. Ace of Cups, something new is something that you love. That's what they want you to do. Your advice, your advice, the ending of your advice is about look for something that you love to do, to do on your spare time. Whether it's five minutes a day, whether it's on a Sunday, whether it's just the weekends, do something on your own that you love to do that's going to make you happy, okay? This is also talking about a new relationship coming into your life. All aces in the deck is a new beginning. Okay, the lover's card. Spirit is telling you, okay, you want advice? Make a choice. Free will. They're not going to make it for you. All right, Spirit, talk to me for the Libras, please. Libra energy. Kindness. Everybody should be kind. Everybody should be kind. Um, what is, how, what's that sentence? Um, kill them with kindness. Everybody should be kind. Be guided by your heart. Let go of logic and rationality. Validate your past. You got this in the pre-spread. In the pre-spread. Validate your past. You did the best you can, you did the best you could. Feel and empathize with your past, not judge it. Don't judge yourself. Don't say shoulda, coulda, woulda. Look at your past. Take the lesson from it. Nod, say, okay, I remember. Bum, bum, bum. And then walk away from it. Easier said than done, but it can be done. Spirit, talk to me. Talk to the Libras for February. Shadow work, yes, journal. You need to talk about the molestation. You need to talk about the bad father. You need to talk about losing the baby. You need to talk about losing your friend or your grandmother. You need to talk about the people who are gossiping about you. You need to talk about how you feel about it. You need to write it down and let it go. Burn it. That's your advice. Write all the bullshit down and burn it and let it go and start anew. 
spirit talk to me this says uncover every part of you that has been repressed and abandoned okay so uncover every part of you that stuff that you bury deep down you need to bring it back up you need to regurgitate it you need to put it on paper then you need to go under a full moon or you need to just go outside and burn that shit and watch it just blow up in flames okay and then you need to breathe and you need to say thank you so much for guiding me okay give gratitude every time spirit talk to me thank you so much thank you thank you thank you so much i appreciate it i appreciate it take a vacation i did talk about a cruise um, but it could be any vacation you need. And if you're thinking about it, Spirit is saying, don't think about it, be about it. And don't talk to me about your fine. Oh, I don't have enough. I don't have enough. Start saving. Make your vacation in June. You know what I'm saying? I have a travel agent, Toya. She's the bomb. She could get you to go to Hawaii for $650. Like, come on. <laughs> for real. Okay, ritual. Ritual, when people hear ritual, they be like, oh, 50, 55 minutes on the clock. Oh, that's um, witchcraft. That's what a, a ritual is just sitting at your chair every day and praying. A ritual, a ritual could be whatever you want it to be. Okay, for my metaphysical babies, for my babies coming into your gifts, do some candle magic. Light a candle, pray over it, but pray like you got it already okay and just let it burn don't even blow it out and then if you have to burn it out because you go going to work snuff it out with a spoon and whenever you come home just relight it re-say your prayer and just keep it going you should write on your candle you should put money on your candle put whatever your heart's desire on that candle okay I'm, I know somebody now who's doing a spiritual class. She's very affordable, too. She talks about candle magic. She talks about rituals. She talks about everything. So, again, moondanny at 1976 at gmail.com. If you want any of these information so, so that you could get, like, really good readings, um, a really good class to go to, just let me know. Um, but you have to put in the comments, emailed. Because I don't check that email often. So, But if I see in the comments you put email, that's all you got to put. I got you. I'll hit you right back. Spirit, talk to me. Don't make this up. Music. <laughs> Music make you lose control. Music make you lose control. Let's go. I love it. I'm getting, this is horrible, y'all, um, trigger warning, I'm getting like a STD or a yeast infection, I'm getting something down here in the, gro in the groin area or in the va vaginal area, and there's nothing wrong with that, if you're a woman and something, whatever happened either in your past or now or whatever, just take care of your body, it's as simple as that, go to the doctor, detox, clean, you know, I mean, come on, this is very simple, okay, um, music can heal wounds that medicine cannot touch, that was deep, okay, Plan your career, seven of pentacles, prioritize, observe, look, move the pieces around. Nothing has to be done tomorrow, y'all. You just got to step back and look at it and you got to say, by June, I want to be here. Boom. Then you got to take action and then you got to know that you got it before you even get it. <laughs> okay? Plan your career. Create milestones and have a strategy to set yourself up for success. Yes. Bottom of the deck says, release expectations. Do not focus on the money aspect of your dreams. Abundance will come at the right time. I love it. You think we can get one more in? This myself care deck. Let's see if we get one more, one more, one more. And I ain't reading from it. I ain't reading. I ain't reading. Let's get one more. Fifty-eight minutes on the clock. Let's see. Spirit, Libras, can I get whatever you take out? Can I get something for the Libras, please? We have 
ask for guidance. I told you these spirits, your deceased loved ones, this universe, they have ears. But you got to speak it into existence, okay? Um, direction. If you feel lost in direction, you have to do the work, okay? And you only got to do partial of the work. They'll do the rest, you know what I mean? <clears throat> Spirit, I just got instantly got like the medical field. So if you're in the medical field um, and you resonate with any of this, then just take the advice. Okay, anger. Some of you have to release some of this anger. Spirit, talk to me. The Libra. Look at that. The Libra card came out. Balance. You have to have balance. You can't be running around like loosey-goosey and doing a thousand things because then you can't get your body and your mind together, okay? We have expect the unexpected. Remember I said some of you are waiting for a phone call or email or something like that. So expect the unexpected. It might not be when you want it to come, but it will come. All right, y'all. With that said, I am out. I love you. Hit me up on TikTok. I'm Karen for... Ooh, is it Karen for Alex? Um, what? Just hit me up, y'all. Hit me up. Love you. Please subscribe. Thank you. <laughs>